Hello guys, welcome back to my channel DP Design. Third video for MC. In this video, I am going to teach you how to make a sketch box, which can be useful for kinematic and uh, also for the subsystems like uh, steering, suspension system, power train. Um, by sketch blocks, you can you can utilize your two uh, D system, the sketch only, and you can uh, count on dynamic. So how we are going to do it? Let's just uh, get an example how to make sketch blocks. So here you cannot find the sketch blocks either. You can search over here, or what you can do, you can just go to parts and uh, turn on this sketch block shortcut. So the menu will be here. I'll be clicking this menu. Uh, I get me here from this. Now, sketch block. What does it mean? It will create a separate sketch entity which cannot be changed okay, by dimension or something. It will not change anything. Uh, I will show you an example uh, so that you can understand. Let's say I am creating one vector. Uh, let's make it like a, this is the body, okay? And here it is. Now I want to make a sketch block of this body okay, or a frame, count it as my car mounting or suspension or suspension and this my wish for. Okay. Now what you can do, you can just go to the make block and I will select the entity, accept this and I will click it. Now my block has been created. Now you can save block in your desktop and you can I will I and this is my wishbone. I want to create new sketch block. I only Now what you can do, you can insert your blocks you have made, right? Blocks you have created. Simple plane, you have to select the plane where you want to uh, insert the edge block. You can browse this desktop and body. First this one. You can select one time. Now I will insert. Okay. Now, as you can see, now this is the free body. If you are trying to do this operation in the normal sketch, it will not be possible. Okay. And the dimension and constraint will be the uh, like limitation for us. Okay, the 2D dynamic. Uh, okay, now. What I can do, I can just uh, place it over here so that my body will not deform. And I want to place my wishbone for this. What I can do, I can just copy this one. Okay. And I can, how you are giving the uh, assembly like that, you can, but this is and this part. Right. Now, as you can see, just because body is not constrained uh, vertically or horizontally, but as you can see, my dimension is not changing. Okay, so that is a plus point. Uh, first, I will do the, and now you can see my wish like this, just like that. You can just place it over here. Like that, you can. And make arms parallel. Okay. If you mount your suspension over over here, okay, and you can just travel how much travel it is. Okay. Like if I'm giving the travel of two mm, how much my uh, 
the different people. Just like that, you can count on. Now, second thing, I'm moving on the second thing to travel. That is the uh, nowadays, what other guys are doing, they are not what, uh, gears and or they, they are uh, directly putting it from the tool boxes. Now, and they are assembling and watching how much uh, travel my rack is, how much travel. So they are comparing like that. It is very lengthy process. Uh, by comparatively, if I do on a sketch block, let's say uh, I will close this and I will directly. Let's say. Okay. Oh, sorry. Pin. And. Okay. Now I want to measure. If my rack uh, pinion travel like that, travel this much, how much my pinion? Okay. So count is count it as a PC the gears. Okay, I am doing I am um, for the sake of the I am giving this enter line. Also, I am done with the sketch. Now I will make top, top of the whatever entities you are selecting now uh, that will be converted into the block. Sharing a that's a uh, now I will be you can also insert it in this case only but I want that you can okay Now, as you can see, my rack should be placed over this origin that it cannot move any direction, but it can only fit just like that. I have to make it should be okay. Who like that? Okay. Now you understood. Okay, perfectly. Yes. Now you can select both, and there is an option called a track. If you give a traction, what is it? If my pinion is rotating 180 degree, how much my rack is traveling? You can just over it now. Tell from origin. Okay, you can create center line over then you can rotate around 180 degree then you can see how much my rack is with the pcd again i'm sharing uh, that you can also just like that you can just get up yes uh, in the future it's all for the video in the future what i will do i will Use the sketch blocks in the motion dynamics. Okay, so in the motion dynamics, you can uh, apply the forces, apply the displacement, apply the thing, okay, how it behaves. Uh, I will try with a different, different uh, string. Uh, is it feasible or not? I think you you have those questions. Uh, the future videos, uh, we will answer that slowly, slowly from the base. Go ahead so that you don't get confused. If you have any doubt, you can DM your Instagram or you can down your. I will surely reply to them. Yeah, thank you for watching. Keep learning.
picture coding. Keep sharing.